welcome to Dave Hughes Stadium for this morning's annual Thanksgiving football game. As the visiting Ashland Clockers take on the Tri-Valley League and Division IV South sectional champion Hopkinton Hillers. First, we'd like to say a special thank you to the boys and girls cross country teams of both Ashland and Hopkinton for running the game football from Ashland High School here to Chick Welch Field. Let's give a round of applause to both teams. And now, we'd like to start our morning by acknowledging our senior cheerleaders and the football players as they cheer and play on their home football field for the last time. We ask that each athlete and your parents come forward when your name is read. Starting with Will Abbott, with parents Ray, Tanya, and Sister Madison. Next, Shane Cooney, with Chris, Aaron, and sisters Kara and Kelly. Next, Captain Anthony Farina with John and Sandy and brothers Johnny and Jack. Next, Zach Fisher with John and Barb, brother Joshua and sister Alyssa. Next, Captain Connor Hebert with parents Mark and Margaret, sisters Lucy and Abby. Next, Captain Michael Ionelli with parents David and Kelly, sisters Hannah and Jessica and brother Jack. Next, Kyle Cousins with parents Ken and Courtney and brother Kevin. Next, Matt LaFlash with parents Jim and Kathy. Next, Captain Matt Lindquist with parents Bob and Peg and brother Eric. How are you doing, boys? Good, how are you doing? Everybody well? Happy Thanksgiving. Good treasure. Finally, Captain Alex McDonald with parents Bruce and Bridget and brother Bennett. And now, for the seniors of Hopkinton's cheer squad, starting with Captain Lisa Breton, with parents Mom, Nancy, and brother Patrick. Next, Audrey Gladu, with Sue and Paul Pettivillano, and Eric Gladu, and sister Olivia. <laughs> and, you. and last but certainly not least, Captain Riley Myers with parents Kevin and Molly. For the 94th time, the Hopkinton Hillers met up with the Ashland Clockers for Thanksgiving Day football. A new tradition started this year as members of the Ashland and Hopkinton cross country team ran all the way from Ashland High School to David M. Hughes Stadium to deliver the game ball. The first points of the game came in the second quarter. A pitch to Will Abbott and he finds the end zone from a few yards out 
The extra point makes it 7 to nothing Hillers. Two minutes, 40 seconds left in the first half. A high snap on the Ashland punt, and Connor Hebert makes the tackle for the safety, and the Hillers take the 9 to nothing lead into the halftime locker room. At the half, play-by-play -play man Rick DeSina interviewed a living legend, Aubrey Doyle Sr., about the longtime Hopkinton Ashland rivalry. Hello, Hiller fans. We're here today, Thanksgiving morning, and we're going to have a little conversation with Aubrey Doyle Sr., who I consider the, the town resident on all sports here. He's been athletic director, teacher, coach. He's done it all. Rumor has it you were at the first game 94 years ago. Is that true? Not quite. <laughs> So what have you seen over the years change um, that uh, since you maybe were playing, since you were coaching to today, what's changed the most in the game? Face masks and so forth on the helmets. We, we played without any of that stuff. You had the leather helmet back in the day? Oh yeah. Is it, uh, how was the weather back in the day playing in Thanksgiving Day? Well, 47 was just like today. The field was icy to begin with and then but by the second half was all mud. So where did you play back in the in the 40s and 50s until I got to this field? Middle school is now. By the Doyle gym? Yeah, beyond that. Right over here, right behind this field right here. I played in that in, in, in the 80s, in the 70s I played in that field up here. So it's been that field was around for a long time. Well, the field you played on was below one of the old ones. Oh, okay. The old one was where the school is built now. So what about this year's team? They went as, uh, if they win today, it'll be 11 wins. Only the second team, the second team to do that in history. What do you think of that? They're a good team, real good team. They did a nice job. They had a tough game last Saturday, but they did very well before, before that, and they're doing very well today. Yeah, they have a, a lot of team speed. They didn't, haven't necessarily had that in the last few years, but uh, the the Abbott and Kelleher connection been one of the uh, best in, in the history. Yeah, it is. Like the doyle Ostrander connection. So, one last thing, I'm gonna let you go. I know it's a little chilly out here and the band's going, but what do you, um, what do you like most about the Thanksgiving Day game? Just the idea that we play Ashland and Tradition, we've been there for, since 1923, played every year except one. Now what year, why, why didn't we play that year? 1940, there was a big snowstorm and they couldn't clear the field. Did they end up playing the game no. later, they just never played it? Never played it. But that was the only one they didn't play. Well that's an interesting fact. Who would have known that? If we, if we didn't have Aubrey Doyle out here today, we wouldn't have known that, most of us anyway. Well coach, it was good to see you. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Say hello to all the boys and the girls for me. Thank you. Thank you. Third quarter, 6.57 left. The Hillers turn it over at the three, and Ashland takes advantage of the situation. Little lofting pass. Oh, oh, number 13. Down the sideline. He's going. He's going to make it all the way. Abbott's got an angle. He's at the 10, and he's not able to get him. That's all the way down for a 97-yard touchdown by number 13, Nathan Sickles. 97 yards on the touchdown reception. Later in the quarter, Ashland punting, and uh-oh, another high snap leads to another safety. And the Hillers go up by four, and that is how the score would stay. The Hillers end their historic 2017 season with a record of 11 and one, and take the victory by a final of 11 to seven. Congratulations on a great season to coach Jim Gerard and the Hopkinton Hillers.